Nine times out of 10, your favorite Invincible character is the worst hero you can think of. Invincible slash Mark. You're definitely the homie who's resilient as fuck. Like every single week, you're going through the worst shit possible, but you just figure it out. Amber, you're the overhated homie who has strong ass opinions, but you're also the type that can lie a little bit so the hate is a little bit justified. But everyone's human type shit. Omni Man, you're genuinely insane with borderline personality disorder and abandonment issues. But some way, somehow, they're gonna figure out a way to give you a redemption arc. William, you're that annoying ass homie who genuinely cares about only their own shit going on, but at least you're supportive. Debbie, there's no way you're not the most mentally solid person in your entire life. You could balance hell on earth itself and still be fine. Cecil, you are a personal hell yourself, but at the same time, most people that lived your life would not be able to handle it and would fold in your position. So you're the type of person I can only respect, especially him being your fave. Donald, you don't care about yourself, but you're an extremely good and self-sacrificing type of person. Immortal, he's one of those characters that your dad would tell you is his favorite because he's a stoic ass old man. Battle Beast, you can definitely run through multiple happy dad cases and watch UFC 24 seven. You're a straight fucking meathead who wants nothing but a good fight or to see one. Rexplode, you're an asshole, like deadass. The most annoying motherfucker you know definitely talks like Rexplode, but you hang out with bro because he's kinda chill and he has actual good insight when he's not yapping your ear off. Adam Eve, wholesome as hell, but you're the independent homie who's actually a D1 athlete but decided to travel around the world instead and your parents hate you for it. Duplicate, way deeper than anyone thinks, but you also don't mind betraying people for your own interest. You're kind of a two-sided type of person. Red Rush, you're a pretty chill guy, but you would definitely choose work over chilling with your significant other. Like, that's an extreme L regardless of how you look at it. War Woman, you're definitely just a Wonder Woman fan and there's no problem with that at all. I respect it. Aquarius, you hate him because he makes Aquaman the exact meme he's not supposed to be. But I'm actually rocking with the fish head. Green Ghost. Just like War Woman, you're genuinely most likely just a Martian Manhunter fan, but I can't blame you. This character is badass as hell. It's peak. Robot. You're the type of person who could definitely be jealous enough to either steal from your homie or kill your homie. It just depends on what comes first. Darkwing. Anyone who's a Darkwing fan must go through complete hell because I can only imagine the hell they hear after hearing that Batman would have been able to take Omni-Man with prep time every single day. Darkwing 2. You are the little homie. Like, you deadass try to be as cool as your big homie, but honestly, it just comes off kind of cringe in the end. Shrinking Ray. You're chill as hell. To be honest, you're just trying to go to work. Black Samson. You're definitely the leader, homie, who feels like everybody needs to listen to you, but you do be having some good insight sometimes. You're just bald. Bulletproof. If you like Invincible, but black. Just being dead ass. Monster Girl. It's like having a little sibling that constantly wants you to treat them as an equal, bro. It's like you physically just can't. Art Rosenbaum. Everybody has that one friend in the group who's so damn chill that he's a neutral party for basically everybody regardless of the argument. Sometimes you just want to go talk to bro. If you made it this far in the video, then one, you have to sub to Time Pizza and help us take over the whole anime cartoon internet game. Two, you have to follow the Twitch because I know you're going to be bored after this and I'm live streaming every single day on Twitch. You just got to go over there and follow us. So stop wasting time, follow the pizza people, join the We Move initiative and be a pizza person and help us take over the whole game. We move. Alan the alien. Alan is like having that one friend who will definitely hear you out on basically all of your problems, but he will hit you with the, I feel that, and then change the topic to something he finds way more interesting because it's genuinely just not that big of a deal to him. Damien Darkblood. Definitely the weird edgy guy who would follow you on social media after you saw him out at a party somewhere. And he unfollows when you don't throw his post on your story. Titan. Honestly, you're kind of a bitch, but your betrayal and the type of person you are is understandable because you're a family over everything type of person. Angstrom Levi. You're like the nerd who finally decided to fight back and you always go too damn far when you finally get a one up. Like any L's you have coming are genuinely deserved. 
Mahler twins. You're an idiot that's always around your idiot homie, even though you don't think you need your other idiot, you do. That's your homie. Martian Emperor. Listen, you are a survival by all type of basis sort of person. Listen, I don't know how you do it, but you, you've got it. Machine Head. You're a dumbass. If you like Machine Head, watch out for the type of people in your circle because you probably think you're clouded up, but you're definitely gonna get caught lacking sooner or later. Isotope. You're the conniving homie who definitely would betray their closest homie no matter what it took to get a dub. Doc Seismic. Definitely the pettiest old head in any room you walk into. Like, you just can't have a conversation with this person. They have their own history and what they believe is right. Kill Cannon. You're just like the Battle Beast fans, except you drink a way more Bud Light and you like a lot more football. Flaxons. Honestly, if Flaxons are your favorite, then you're genuinely just a group of bots. Like, I don't know how, how that works for you. King Lizard. You're truly the loser nobody wanted to become a leader. Any downfall you endure will be celebrated. The Lizard League in general. A bunch of overpowered dumbasses. This is just like a huge group with a whole bunch of potential coming together. And they all basically do nothing because everything we thought was raw as hell just didn't amount to anything. Anissa, you only like her for one of two reasons. I hope it's because of her having badass fights, otherwise you're a terrible person. Craig, listen, I see you as the type that's a rules is rules type motherfucker, and definitely I don't want to meet any homies you have because I know they're just like you if not ten times worse. Martian Man, you're definitely a nice guy and really hella charitable, I can tell. Shafe Smith, you're a scammer. Oliver, you definitely have the potential to cause the most hell and trouble.